Gemini, welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome to you versus your person here. You versus them for the month of October. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And of course, Gemini, as you already know, these are general readings, not personal. And no, I do not do personal readings. Okay. But not every Gemini will be going through this or resonate with this. If it doesn't resonate, don't make it fit. Take what resonates and leave the rest out if it doesn't. Also, if it doesn't, take another look at your placements in your chart and look at another placement in your chart, okay? So we're going to get into what you and your person have going on. So that's going to be you on this side, the Watcher. Your person's energy will be on this side. Again, you could resonate the other way around, so flip it as it resonates for you. We're also getting into your mutual energies, how you feel mutually about the connection here. And then we're going to get external energies if it, if it pops up on either side. It could be on both or on one or the other. So we'll look at external energies and the outcome between you two mutually, whether it's a emotional outcome a you know like an actual decision outcome or it's just like a spiritual feeling of what you both think you should do or you know we'll, we'll get into that um what else i believe that's it so thank you guys for your likes your shares your subscriptions and all your beautiful wonderful comments I try to look at as many as I can and you know you either like or love or, or comment um, it just depends because I have a lot going on but thank you for your patience also I had family over once again so that distracted me for a few days so this is gonna be you know your reading for the rest of October and see what's happening with you guys okay so please hit that like button Gemini um, subscribe to the channel guys hit that notification bell and you know to see if you want you know, when your readings pop up here and let's begin so we're gonna start with Amira's love oracle and I think it, it keeps getting like cloudy and sunny cloudy and sunny so let's just turn on the light here we're gonna start with Amira's love oracle and see what's happening mutually between you and your person now, does it have to be about love? Not always. It could be a friend, a family member, but we're going to see. If it is you and your person as in love, the external energy could be external to that person here or you over there. So let's begin. I'm not gonna lie I see an open connection here and I see an older man with a younger woman uh, older man with children so that's for some of you kinda like the trophy girl I'm, uh, let's see what's going on here so we have soulmate mutual energy so obviously you know this ex this connection exists between the two of you Okay. Yeah, there he is again, mature man. So you could be older, or one of you are older, or it just means somebody's maturing here. Maybe you know, a kind of person that has a lot of responsibilities. It could be a father. I did see the children card there, and um, you know, somebody that is growing. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I just kept going like that was yeah, children. So there you go. So somebody, okay, that's probably, you. Um, it's probably relevant to the reading. So somebody has children and they are dealing with an ice queen here, okay. I feel like this person could definitely be cold. I mean, we got snow over here. She's all white over here, um, like frozen. It could be dealing with somebody that's cold, um, kind of not very emotional. But this reminds me of the Queen of Swords energy, so it could be Libra. You could be dealing with another Gemini or Aquarius. So bottom of the deck, yes, children and passion here with obstacles. 
Oh, brunette female. Okay, we have a brunette female. So choose who you are. You're either the mature man. Okay, right away I'm seeing a third party, guys. Or there's three situations involved. You don't have to be in the third, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be like the other woman or something like that. But there is an exterior connection to whatever this is. And I feel like this is that person. Um, somebody that they're connecting with. But the obstacle is the fact that there's passion with somebody young here. Somebody is uh, enjoying themselves. It's like they... Uh, <laughs> They're in an open relationship with this person. They're enjoying the passion they that exists between them. But they don't see it they don't see this person as like their future wife. It's an open relationship. I feel like they see you as that. Somebody here could have green eyes, blue eyes, male or female. And somebody could be Spanish or tan here. Yeah. Somebody's dealing with karma. Okay. Oh boy, it's going to be one of those, alright. So, let's get you a, we'll get more into it, Gemini. <laughs> I'm hearing that song by Patrick Swayze. She's like the wind. Da -da -da. She leads me to moonlight. Only to burn me with the sun. She's taking my heart. She doesn't know what she's done. I feel a breath in my face. Her body close to me. Can't look in her eyes. She's out of my league. Just a fool to believe I have anything she needs. She's like the wind. And Gemini, you are air. So somebody feels they're not good enough. That's why they play around with the shiny thing, the, you know, I don't know, shiny new toy, whatever that is. Somebody definitely not on their level. Okay, it's just fun. It's passionate. That's what I'm sensing here. Living without her, I'll go insane. Alright. Beloved. Radical acceptance. To This is mutual energy. So you both accept that there is a connection here. Okay. But unfortunately, there's other things happening. And that's why you guys aren't coming together here just yet. Straddling worlds, wandering between realms. Yeah, 52 could be significant, but spirit, spirit is trying to guide someone out of their shadow. Um, yeah, we have Drifter, experiencing life as it comes. <sighs> You know, you should, ex 14 adding up to 5, which is, your life constantly is in change mode, obviously, when you experience life as it comes, going with the ebb and flow. That's all fine and dandy until you hit a snag with someone that keeps you in, stuck in their shadow due to passion. So this person doesn't mind getting their heart trampled as long as they enjoy the moment. Is what I'm getting here okay so even if it means getting their heart broken they're enjoying themselves alrighty then so let's get into the fortune reading cards and get you a mutual energy here. mutual energies my guides so you guys accept that there is a connection here one more shuffle all right let's see what this is Proposal, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Now, Gemini, this could be a connection that you're in. 
that is, uh, it's, it's an open relationship. There might be a soul bond here, but there is karma attached to it. Okay, we're going to see what's happening here. Because I saw somebody, I feel like this person is a lesson. It's an obstacle to that other person that was outside of the obstacle. So, you know, exterior to this connection. So this may be that person or maybe this person that you're currently dealing with. We're going to see bottom of the deck. Snake. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. See, that's what happens. Oh, taking it life as it comes, even when it comes to snakes. That that should never apply to dealing with a snake and saying, chucking it up to, oh, I'm just taking life as it comes. When you're dealing with a snake, what, what are you like? You, you want to die? You, you know, this is a venomous snake. You know... <laughs> The venom is also the cure. Like, what, what are we doing here? Or, okay, this could be the other person. Take it how it resonates. Lovers, there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Exactly. Somebody's being true to their passions, so they're being kind of selfish, I have to, I have to say. Now, because they're indulging in their passions. Hey, everybody is, is, is capable of doing whatever they want. The problem exists when you feeling a nudge and a, a deeper connection to someone else that is being completely ignored. Because either somebody got comfortable with the fact that it will always be there, so they think, or they got comfortable with the fact that they're enjoying the sex, the ego side of uh, themselves, the connection, the, the devil side of themselves, the shadow side of themselves. Because we got a snake here, and we have two paths, and then we have the world. So someone's in a cycle with a snake, meaning the person outside of the obstacle that we saw, the Burnett, is the person they have a connection to. But somebody is learning something here. So it may be all passionate, fine and dandy right now, but it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be for too long before this snake strikes. So. The world indicates the end of a cycle that and it's a lesson you learned successfully so right now I don't see that ending but it is here okay so we'll see endings bring new beginnings there is distance also between you guys oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. that's what I'm here for to this to decipher through these energies Okay, let's do it. So we're going to get into my intergalactic tarot plus oracle. And we're going to get into your person's energy. Again, it could resonate the other way around. Take it how it resonates. That scale's about to break. Mm hmm. Yeah, something did not. Something is about to blow up in someone's face because of that very mentality. Well, you know, I feel like spirit really trying to warn that person before. You're dealing with a snake. It ain't gonna end in sunshine and rainbows and 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 abundance. So right now, your person is in block mode, not talking, no communication. Assessing a decision, maybe decision making time, who knows? Page of Swords, but they watch silently. Somebody could have been, you could have, um, they could have blocked you. We are talking about your person here. Ace of Swords. Somebody saw something online that they know it was the truth. The truth can't be denied and, and it cannot be unseen. So whatever this your person is watching here, maybe they didn't want to see it, but it is the truth. Knight of Cups.
Okay. I don't know if this is an apology just yet. Um, this could be someone. Let's see. Let's keep going. King of Wands. Yeah. Mm. Somebody is very romantic but very passionate. All right. Let's see what else here. Six of Cups. Uh, Gemini, you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. This is soulmate energy. It doesn't have to be someone from your past, but it could be for some of you. Let's see. Ace of Wands. Exactly. Now, for some of you, this is the connection you feel. This is your person's energy. All right, someone romantic and highly passionate. Could be very blunt, very wise as well. Um, let's get one more. Self sabotaging. There's lies, deception here. Oh, Lordy. Why, Gemini? Why? <laughs> this is going to take me a minute because there's more than two people here. Okay? So I'm going to ex further explain this after I see what your energy is looking like over here. Of course, we're going to get external energies here. I feel like somebody is sleeping with somebody from their path, past because they are in an open relationship. I saw that very clearly as I was shuffling and I saw it at the bottom of the deck. Um, somebody sleeping with somebody from their past. Somebody is just... They're having a, a sexual indulgence right now. I don't know what's wrong with this person, okay? But they might have sexual addictions. I don't know. Let's see, bottom of the deck here. Temperance with the moon and the queen of wands. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. So... Either they're sleeping with somebody from their past secretly, okay, so they are being deceptive. They're sleeping with somebody here. They are sleeping with somebody. What I'm having a hard time is that I need to figure out who's watching because this could either be your counterpart or you're cross watching to see what's going on in this person's life so let's get it let's get it together here all right we're gonna use tarot of the haunted house here for your energy Gemini whoever's watching and I did see the tower when I was shuffling the other deck it's gonna blow up in this person's face somebody's running amok is what I'm getting yeah somebody knows the truth king of wands is the swords again they know what they're doing is, is, yeah, it's not right. We got a male whore over here, basically. So you are blocking the bullshit, seven of wands, and protecting your energy, yourself here. Okay, good, good for you. Yeah, holding back your energy. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not investing in the situation. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Okay, so for you, your face is turned the other way. Somebody missed that opportunity. 
Some of you, you could have somebody new here, but we're going to see first what's going on here. Missed opportunity. Yeah, High Priestess. Okay, so you're very intuitive, and you follow your intuition here. All right, and you know that perhaps there are secrets here. There are secrets. So I feel like uh, this person is like wishy-washy. King of Cups. So if you ever had any feelings, you keep it to yourself is what I'm seeing here. Okay, you could intuit that this person does love you somehow, some way, but you're not willing to deal with a player is what I'm seeing. Um, you keep your emotions to yourself. You keep them hidden. Okay, you could feel the soulmate connection and you know it's there, but you don't want to deal with a player. That's why you're protecting your heart space. Knight of Cups. Ace of Wands. Yeah, you know this person's very charming. But again, I feel like this is your intuition. You know this person's very charming. And all they want is sex. Even though there's a deeper connection here. Okay. So it's understood the connection here. But this person is a player. See, the problem is, if you like open relationships, you need to communicate that to other people. Because not everybody likes open relationships. So, if you fell for someone that didn't communicate the fact that they're non-committal and they don't like open relationships. I mean, excuse me, and they like open relationships. Well, and you have somebody here that is looking for a connection, a deeper connection, something solid. I mean, we got... Two people that are, are not on the same page. So you're allowed to do what the hell you want as long as you're open and communicative about that. And I feel like somebody's a damn liar and it's very deceptive. Meaning we have someone here that wants their cake and eat it too. They want to roam amok, catch whatever STD, doesn't matter. And you know, somebody could somebody could have caught something and they're lying that they don't have anything. Um but <laughs> what I'm seeing here, Gemini, is that this is you know that first of all, you know yourself. Okay, you know you're charming and you know that it was a very flirty connection. Hold on one second, because I gotta answer that message. Alright, Gemini, sorry about that. I had to um answer that phone call so anyway so what I'm seeing here Gemini is that I see you as someone that's quite spiritual alright you're blocking your energy from this player energy is what I see here and you want someone that you have a spiritual connection to that's why I was picking up that somebody else could be popping into your life with that ace of cups coming out you know four of wands I mean excuse me four of cups is that cup coming out of the sky but in this deck it's something that, you know, maybe came out of nowhere or you don't see quite yet. But what I'm seeing is that you want a spiritual connection. That's why we have soulmate up here. And you perhaps like someone already with the Ace of Wands. Maybe you feel a strong, passionate connection to somebody here. That's new. Or you know that this is how you felt towards this person. But this person pretty mess, pretty much messed it up. They know how they acted in the past also because we do have the Six of Cups. And I feel like they feel blocked um, from your social media. And they know they were an asshole. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. So let's see bottom of the deck here. Nine of Wands. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, this person had you up at night, you know, nine of wands, this wounded warrior energy, you know, they were definitely in their ego. Yeah. So this is an older man that likes to, that has children, 
that likes to um, sleep with younger females. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, let's look at the mutual energy here. So you both understood that there was a connection here. But, you know, unfortunately, spiritual connections have nothing to do with how you act in, in real life, right? It's just a connection that you feel intuitively. You know, your traumas and how you act in real life have everything with that coming together. So, some of you, this was like a karmic soulmate. So, we'll see. Because um, definitely you would learn a hard lesson with this energy here. So let's look at the mutual energies between the two of you and what this proposal is and all of that. I feel like you both really felt this romantic feelings is what I'm getting. But it all went to shit because of their behavior here. This was painful. Come on, spirit. What's going on? Yeah, it was definitely a messy situation. Oh, Lord. Okay, one. They sabotaged the shit out of this connection. I can tell you that much. Alright, one more shuffle here. Now that we got this going right. So you are like the wind, Gemini. You've taken his heart and he doesn't and you, you don't even know what you've done. So they still think about you. Player and all. Mutual energies. King of Pentacles. Okay, so you're both focused on career right now. Okay. Is what I'm feeling. Being more grounded, more stable. You both have learned major lessons here. Six of Swords, and I feel like, you know, you, you don't want to be, you don't want to be reminded of this energy in the past. I feel like you're both kind of moving on, learn, lesson learned situation. Yeah, because this was heavy, Ten of Wands. Very heavy. The Hierophant. Yeah, this could have been a heavy connection. Beautiful what you felt towards one another. But in the physical reality, it was just shit. It was shit. Yeah, it's a missed opportunity between the two of you. Four of Cups. And you both know it. Um, you got bored with the situation. It was too heavy. You know... Somebody could have probably got turned down as far as a proposal. It's just, I just, I'm feeling it's better to split ways here. Ten of Pentacles. Um, it could have never came together because of another connection. Maybe this person was in a marriage here also. Or you both were in other connections. Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this was a manifestation from, you, you know, your shadow energies, like a lower vibration. Definitely a lesson here. I feel honestly here that you're both focused on career. You both learned something from this. It was very heavy, and I feel that you're both going to uh, separate directions. That's what I'm getting here. So let's get into external energies here. What's going on with this Ace of Wands, Seven of Swords? You know, you. It was all fine and dandy till somebody was just decided to be a hoe, male or female. Well, 
What's going on over here? Ace of Cups. This person is still in love. They know the truth. Wheel of Fortune. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're analyzing this. They they know it was destined to be. You you open this mind. You open this person's mind to a new perception. Also is what I'm feeling here with the Wheel of Fortune, the Hangman, and the Ace of Cups. A new perspective. They're still stuck on it because they felt that soul bond. They're angry that they feel, they feel like they'll never be able to escape this. They feel bound to it with the Hangman. They feel stuck. So they love you and they hate the fact that they love you. Yeah, they know the truth. You're the one that got away, basically. But it was their damn fault for their because of their behavior. You could have dealt with an Aquarius here, but... Yeah, they know you were star-crossed lover. It was fated to be. Fated and destined with the Wheel of Fortune and the star. Again, five of wands, too much competition. The rooster and the chicken. The rooster and the chickens, I should say. This person was too busy being a rooster. And now they want to apologize and breadcrumb you with Page of Pentacles. Yeah. King of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Mr. Breadcrumber. Two of Swords. This person has a mental block. They have a, a very uh, limited mindset here as well. Immature King of Swords, obviously. He could have Leo rising with the lovers. Yeah, you're two at a distance, and wow, was that connection uh, intense with the lovers. Very passionate, but yep, five of cups with the king of cups. They felt the same thing you did. It was being mirrored with the lovers. But they ran and self-sabotaged because that's what they do. They're a player. Okay, and what is this Ace of Wands over here for you? Because I feel like you're open to something new. We got to get you some new energy, see what's going on over there, external to you. Yeah, King of Wands in reverse popped out here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> A male whore. All right, external to you, what's going on with this Ace of Wands? And of course, they want to sleep with you. Are you going to have justice? Again, the moon popped out of here. For things that you didn't even see were happening behind the scenes. Okay, so who knows to what level this person screwed you over. Seven of Pentacles here, again. So, I feel like, you know, this could have been like a cycle with this person. Seven years, eight years for some of you. And I feel like there's going to be 11 years for some of you. Wow. Um, there's going to be justice here because there were, there were some things that were done under the moon here. Eight of Pentacles. Some things, oh, what do we got going on? Because this is external to you. You might have a secret crush. Let me see. Yeah, there's somebody else here. It's a lot of secrets. Somebody could want to work things out with you here. Two of Pentacles with the High Priestess. Some of you divinate. What's going on over there? Oh. We got the Emperor with the Four of Swords. Somebody's resting and secretly thinking about you secretly wanting to work with you that is your justice here okay so you yeah queen of cups with the sun 
Oh yeah, somebody's definitely okay. <laughs> so somebody is in hermit mode. This emperor's in hermit mode, Gemini, with the sun. They see you as happiness. They see you as compassionate, highly intuitive with the high priestess. They dream about you as well. This could be someone you're feeling on an astral level, astral projection type of level, um, like travel. I feel like they're trying really hard to connect with you in that way as well with the four swords. This person's going within, like meditating. I'm seeing here. They find you very sexy and they do feel this connection. Two of Cups. They see you as someone very attractive. But guess who's jealous back here? Five of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. Someone you haven't seen in a while that missed their opportunity that you left that shit behind and learned the lesson from. Six of Swords. That's how they are. Sitting at the bar just like that. What did I do? I, I spilled the milk and I fucked it up. Yeah. That's what they do, though. So they're going to be jealous when you, you are with someone that treats you right. That's what you're open to right here. And there it is. So you got something beautiful coming. So don't even worry about it. I don't, I don't feel like you are anyway. So let's see mutually. Even though I think we got plenty of energy there. Mutually what's happening here. Yeah, you needed this. Both of you needed the strength to move on and not hold each other back anymore. Yeah, it takes time and patience. All right, I feel there was uh, some sort of contract here that held you guys back. Spiritual contract. You were supposed to learn from one another. That's why you met this person. Hierophant. But you learned a lesson. And I don't think this person... Uh, I mean, you definitely make them look at things from a different perspective. But with this energy still being here. I don't know that that person has learned their lesson. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. If they made you an offer, you rejected it. Or they could just feel like abandonment. Like you abandon them. Definitely this person could have abandonment issues. But with the five of pentacles, they weren't giving you much. Okay. They're at the five, not the ten. Meaning, you know, who wants a half-ass? Nobody. Yeah, you cut that shit out. And now, you took a leap of faith and you move forward. And, you know, happy days are here again is what I'm hearing. Let's get some messages here. Mutual messages. So there is someone you you feel a connection to. I mean, you have a secret crush. And that person is crushing on you. For, for what I see here, it's an emperor. Okay, let's see here. Yeah. Done for now. I then I just feel like you're done. It's not for now. You're done. There's no going back. Yeah. And they want you to know they made a mistake. A big one. But a mistake that blew up in their face. Yeah, this fell over here. You you see somebody that makes you whole. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. That fell over there. Spirit wanted to guide it over there. You're ready for something that makes you... Or someone that makes you whole. You're ready to be happy. There's still hope. This person could think you're too good to be true. But they're assessing the situation. So you're attracting somebody. Let's get a few messages here with the Haunted Halloween Oracle. <laughs> I'm hearing that song. I'll take you to the candy shop. 
Yeah, that's always uh, their their vision is let me take you to the candy shop. That's all they're thinking about is sex. They have I feel like this person has a sex addiction and um, abandonment issues. What else is happening here? Oh boy, this person is doing candle magic. Intention, power, and summoning. This person is doing fucking candle magic. They don't want to lose you because they feel this connection and now they know this was faded. They know that you were meant to be. What they didn't understand is you were meant to be because you had to learn a lesson here. You had to learn from each other. This person taught you a lot. But it was out of pain. And yeah, you caused pain within this person as well. But they were too ego and prideful to ever really face that. This is the kind of person that would suffer in silence because they're a player, right? They have an image to uphold. Very toxic energy. So now they're trying to summon you with magic. Yeah, you were the light. You took your light and their happiness. You were their happiness, okay? They want success. They want this back. Cemetery. Past life going away. Ooh. Past life going away and grief. Oh, boy. This person needs to really be careful with that magic because they might just, uh, they might just summon their own death here. But they know it's a past life connection. And yeah, I mean, we did have the mask. And this is forbidden. Okay, carnival mask, fun time, feelings, forbidden. They decided to have fun and sleep around. Even though they had feelings, and now it's forbidden. Okay, so I'm interested to see what kind of magic this person is doing. Just so you're clear on what's going on here. And that's this person's game. It's all about hitting below the belt doing dirty work instead of and that's because of their ego and pride and their unhealed wounds so they're very childish so instead of just coming out with it and tell you how they feel no they want to do behind the scenes shit to energetically pull you back towards them so they don't want to put in the work they want to do it in a way where they don't have to be vulnerable that's just ridiculous Let's see what kind of magic. Oh, there you go. Reversal magic. Someone who has done magic work on you is now working to reverse the magic to right a wrong. Oh, okay. So now they see that every time, every time they do magic on you, it's backfiring on them. So now they're trying to 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 do the right thing and reverse it because they're they're trying to get rid of the karma that they're going through. That's not how you that's not how it works. The intention was already sent out. And it, it it's going to backfire on them even if now they want to reverse it. Okay, this person's very jealous. Someone is jealous of who you are and the accomplishments you've made. So this is the kind of person that also sees you as competition. How are you gonna see someone you felt a soul connection as competition? 
you know, that's not how love works. Not real love. Yeah. <laughs> Mirror magic. They envy you. Okay, they want the, your, they want your essence. Someone is envious and is trying to steal your essence to become a mirror image of you. I mean, they love the energy you embody. That's what attracted them to you in the. That's what attracted them to you in the first place. Because they're so used to low vibrational energies. But you took your power back and blocked it and gave yourself that love that you were once giving to this person or had for this person. Oh well, you know. C'est la vie. So now they're retracting the, the, the spell work or the, you know, that they were doing because obviously they were receiving bad karma or they are currently is what I should say and um, they know that every time they send you bad things bad things happen to them not you you're protected seven of wands all right Gemini that's what I have for you let me know in the comments if anybody resonates I wish you the best there is somebody special here okay so don't you worry that's a done deal over you're in a new chapter of your life that will be their behavior will be their demise and they will forever live in regret and guilt and sorrow for what they did they probably didn't believe in soulmates and it took them a while to realize that you know what I feel what I feel for a reason or they were just in denial didn't want to see it for what it was because this with the lovers trust me probably the first time you guys met this person you both felt it okay we had the lovers and the star with the wheel of fortune they were supposed to learn a lesson but they they behaved in a way where they just couldn't see past their conditioning and their behaviors so this person is getting cut out of a lot of things in their life all right guys i wish you the best you're gonna have a new beginning with someone here and it's uh, it's the fucking emperor that finds you beautiful here okay they feel a connection to you could be a soulmate for some of you um two of cups here that could be this energy also because you have two soulmates here. They find you beautiful. Compassionate. We have the sun here twice. Okay, but they are thinking about this and they do want to work on this. That's your justice, darling. Alright. Alright, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.